Howdy, your tube. I want you to hang on to your hats today, and I hope you're sitting down. I was watching a video last week on tube, and it got me to thinking about something. Now, I uh, made some notes here, so I'm going to be doing a little reading. Um, to lay a foundation for your thought process, I want you to consider the original inhabitants of what we call the North American continent which would have been American Indians and Mexicans. Another part of that equation I want you to consider what happened uh, you know, 1492 when the settlers it, well let's go to the pilgrims as well when the Europeans started coming to this continent also, would like you to consider um, when there was a mass influx of immigrants, and finally, uh, let's uh, for example, let's say you are uh, well. Okay. Let's say you were a military brat. Let's say your parents were in, I'm going to just pick a place, France. And you were born. Considering that you were born in France, does that make you French? Now, let's get into the, to the good stuff. Okay, now, I went and did a little research, I pulled a couple of words from uh, what's considered um, valid definitions given to us by the powers that be. The words I'm going to be exploring, uh, native, citizen, naturalization, citizenship, social contract theory, national, origin, and resident. Now, let's start with native. Now, like I said, remember all those things I said before. You know, keep those um, thoughts in your head while I'm going through this. Now, the definition that we are given of the word native, born or originating in a particular place, and man, that battery is about to go out. Wow. Doggone it. I'll be back. I gotta recharge the camera and I'll pick up it native. Well, I couldn't find the unit. Couldn't find the unit so I could charge the battery for the vid camera, so I just switched to my webcam to complete this one. Now, I said I was going to pick up uh, with native. Now, native, born or originating in a particular place. And I'm placing, a, I'm going to place some emphasis on, on some words while I'm reading you these definitions. Just to get you to 
think about something. Now, remember the example I gave you? If you were parents of someone in the military and they just happened to be in France or anywhere, are you a native of the place you were born in? Hmm? Now, let's look at the word citizen. Its definition, I'm giving the short forms of, of things. Um, a native or naturalized member of a state or nation. Naturalization. Acquisition of citizenship and nationality by somebody who was not a citizen or national of that country when born. And notice something while I'm reading you these definitions. They use the same words <laughs> almost in each definition. Well, how do I say it? Uh, it's a little word trickery going on. Now, let's look at the word citizenship. State of being a citizen of a particular social, political, national, or human resource community. Citizenship status under social contract theory carries rights and responsibilities. Ooh. Now, social contract theory. Who comes up with this stuff? Intellectual device. Let me say that again. Social contract theory is an intellectual device, which means it's up here. It's not here. Intended to explain the appropriate relationship between individuals and government. Social contract theory arguments assert that individuals unite into political societies by mutual consent agreeing to abide by common rules etc 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 national next word national a citizen or subject of a country by inference frequently a person who owes loyalty to a country but lacks full membership in it so you've heard the term foreign national comma a non-citizen resident Next word, origin, meaning source, place where it comes from. Remember, origin, place where it comes from, just like the word native, originating in a particular place. Origin as it refers to ancestry, ethnic group. social class whatever or country of family meaning your lineage okay now and I urge you to look up all these words you know uh, In fact, as I edit this video, I'll 
put them up somewhere like right up in right up in here somewhere um but then again i was sitting over here wasn't i so where can i put them anyway i put the definitions up a couple of them for you for you, all you lazy folk that don't want to let your fingers do the walking but now put all those terms together and and those things I mentioned at the beginning of the video the original uh, inhabitants of this continent that we now call the United States which was North America the original inhabitants being American Indians Mexicans and you had Indians up in Canada, Alaska, uh, Central America you know it's just one big continent right these people were already here Aztecs, the Mayans, all of them they are the natives of this land right so now you just fast forward to 1492 when the um, Columbus stumbled across this continent and if all you know the real history about it you know he stumbled across it it's like oh because he thought he was in India so now you have all of these Europeans when okay fast forward again you have a bunch of immigrants coming into this country remember the word origin country of family now uh, <laughs> there's a couple of directions I can go with this I'm just trying to pick one uh, okay our system today makes people of uh, Mexicans get green cards right but they are natives of this continent so why are you making natives of this continent get green cards for that reason um, why didn't they make American Indians get green cards I guess because they uh, were too busy wiping them out from the billions to the hundreds of thousands that exist today uh, but now but see where I'm getting with going with that you have descendants of people who originated across the pond that's your lineage and they make people who were already here their lineage get green cards it's backwards actually according to their own definitions American Indians and Mexicans should be making everybody that comes to this continent get green cards because they're not natives and a lot of you will argue because that's all you all like to do is argue but I can uh, go with those who have different opinions but those who want to argue you know go somewhere bye this isn't for argument this is for conversation thought get you stimulated um, so me for example part of my lineage is American Indian which means through my origins I'm a native of this land through some of my other lineages I'm a native of Ham Africa for some of you the land of Ham uh, 
also have lineage um, in Europe. So I'm uh, through lineage, my origins, I'm also a native of Europe. So, what, or should I say, for those of you listening to this, the concept citizen really doesn't exist. This was something that was created. Because, like I said, think about your lineages. You come from many places. You're natives. We're natives of Earth, right? So, who decided? Well, I mean, we know who did it. To uh, start using these buzzwords citizen. Yes, you're a citizen. Naturalized. You're a naturalized, naturalized citizen. You're a foreign national. Are you going to obtain your citizenship? Hmm. So, but, you know, basically, the next time you see an American Indian or someone of that descent, next time you see Mexican or someone of that descent, ask them, and I'm not being funny here, ask them for a green card because most of you are not citizens and are not natives of this continent and that makes you wonder how is it they are able to enforce the laws that they try to enforce if by their own definitions most people on the North American continent are not even citizens. Well, it makes you wonder. It makes me wonder. I don't know about you. Hmm. I'm, I'm really, I'm serious. Look up these definitions and read them for yourself and, and you'll see where I'm getting at. It's very, uh, What word could I use? It obscure. It, it's when you try to put it all together, it really makes no sense whatsoever. Especially because you use prepositions, like you're this or that, you're this and that, you're one or the other. Like I said in the word native, for example, born or originating somewhere citizen, a native, or naturalized. Naturalization. Acquisition, acquisition of citizenship and nationality. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. The <laughs> you know that's called uh, wordsmithing use a whole bunch of big terms and try to fit them together so they make sense. But when you really examine it, they don't make any sense. So, what do you think about it? Huh? Shalom.